Sorry. Okay. Hello, hello. Ay, nos pusieron otra vez a Estambul. Hello. Hi, Brenda Guadalupe. Hi, good, good night. How are you today? I'm fine. Excellent. Nice to have you here. Hello, Marlene Escobar. Hello, how are you? I'm pretty good. What about you? Are you good? So good. Thank you. Excellent. <laughs> That's so nice. Oh my God, Jenny. Hi, Jenny. Hi, teacher. How are you today? Very good. And you? Excellent. I am pretty, pretty good today. Nice to have Excellent. you here, right? Nice to see you again. Excellent. Let me see who else. Estrella Guadalupe. Hello. Hi, Estrella Guadalupe. Hello. Hola. How are you Hello, today? Um, I am fine. Excellent. Can I see your beautiful face or not? Estrella Guadalupe, can you turn on your camera, please? Yes. Okay, thank you. Oh my God, I have people that Hi, I know. teacher. Hi, Carlita. How Hi, are teacher. You? <laughs> yes, me too. Hi, Adriana. How are you? <sighs> Hi, teacher. Fine, thank you. And you? I am pretty good. Hi, Chica. So <laughs> Hello. Okay. Let's see who else. Sarai. Hello. How are you today, Sarai? It's uh, good. Good. Okay. Excellent. Nice to have you right here. Okay, guys. So I think that we are ready to start with the class of today. So I will start sharing my screen right now, okay? It's nice to see you here. Nice to meet you for the people who do not know me, right? Let me see who else is here. Hello, Veronica Jamilet. Hi, Veronica. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Good or not? Yes. Okay. So I think that we are ready to start with the class and I will start introducing myself. Okay. So here you have it. My name is Nicole Hueso, right? I am a student of foreign languages at the University of El Salvador. I am in fifth year. It means that I am a senior year student. I have a diploma of English at the University of El Salvador. And I am a student of level 17 of French in the same university, okay? Yes, Mirna Elizabeth, tell me. No questions, Mirna? No, okay. I could see your hands raised. Okay, so we are going to continue with this. Remember that we have a group in WhatsApp. So please, if you are not in the group, tell me, okay? So that I can send you the link and you can be inside the group, okay? Excellent. So now let's start with this part, homework, assignments, and evaluations that I have right here. As you could see, this is in Spanish, but I will explain it in English, okay? So it says that it is necessary to get at 800%, right? 100%, 80%, sorry, uh, like in homework assignments and also in evaluation, okay? That is like the minimum grade that you can have. And then you can find the homework assignments in the platform and it is recommendable that you work with them when we finish the class, okay? Then all the homework assignments uh, must be done when we finish the class at Friday, okay? At Friday, every single homework assignment must be done, okay? And then if you want, if you want the material, for example, the presentation, or if you want some extra material or something like that for you to practice, you just let me know and I can share it in WhatsApp, okay? 
great. Questions until now? Preguntas hasta el momento? No, no questions. Quiero una consulta. Yes, tell me. Eh, ¿Siempre sería los viernes o los jueves que entregaríamos la, las tareas? Well, it says Friday, right? Oh, no, let me see. It says ya cubiertos tienen que estar completos antes de cada viernes. Yes, thank you so much. It will be jueves, right? Thursday. It will be Thursday. Solo una cosita para que quede claro. El día jueves de esta semana no vamos a tener clase. Pero para reponerla vamos a tener el día viernes, ¿ok? Solo va a ser esta semana que vamos a tener día viernes. El resto terminamos jueves, ¿ok? Ok. So now, let's continue with this part, with the work that you have in the platform. For this week, we are going to continue with the section number one and section number two, okay? This week, you must work in part one and two, okay? For the second week, it will be section three and the midterm that we have in the platform. For the third week, we have only section four and then for the last week it means week number four we are going to have section five and the final exam okay le voy a enviar esta foto al grupo para que la tengan ahí y no tengamos inconvenientes okay so now we are ready to start with the class look at it Something that I like, para las personas que ya me conocen, saben que a mí me encanta verles la carita, right? Entonces, si tienen, si podrían encender su cámara, eso sería muchísimo mejor. Y también dejarles saber que a mí me encantan los voluntarios, ¿ok? I love volunteers, ¿ok? So, if I ask, do I have a volunteer? Quiero que me vuelvan loco diciéndome, yo, teacher, yo, por favor, yo quiero participar, ¿ok? Porque si no, yo voy a escoger a mis voluntarios. Okay, excellent. So let's continue with this part. Look at the question that I have right here. Do you know the months of the year or not? Yes. Yes. Can you tell me the months of the year, please? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Excellent. Good job, Adriana. Thank you so much. Excellent. So I think that you know the months of the year, but we are going to watch a little video in which we have the pronunciation of it, okay? So that we can improve a little bit the pronunciation that we can have, okay? So give me a second and I will play this video. Let me know if you can listen to the video, okay? Hi everyone, in this class. Can you listen to the video? Yes. Yes, thank you so much. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. No se escucha, teacher. ¿No se escucha? Yo no sé si es como Inter, pero está pausado. Ok, so. give me a second. One more time. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn the months and dates. Additionally, you'll learn about birth dates. Let's get started by listening and practicing the months and date. Practice the months and the dates. Months. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Okay, there you go with the months, okay? So I will say it one more time, the pronunciation, and I want you to to move your lips, okay? It's going to be January, okay? January. Then we have February. February. Then we have March. March. Then we have April, okay? April. 
We don't say April, okay? No, no, no. It's going to be April. Then we have May, okay? May. Then June. July. August. September. October. November. And then we have December, okay? Questions about the pronunciation? No? El de enero, dígame cómo es, profe. Okay, one more time. It's going to be January. January. Exactly, in that way. Excellent. Good pronunciation, in that way. Y, y, fe, y febrero eh, termina, es la misma terminación. Exactly, February. Okay, February. Okay, yes. gracias. You're welcome. So let's continue with the dates, okay? Let's pay attention. Dates. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh. Eighth. Ninth. Tenth. 11th, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, 20th, 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, 31st. Now let's learn. Okay, as you could see, here we have the pronunciation, right? We are going to say first we don't say first okay we say first then we have second third y en estos números de que a partir del cuatro quiero que tengan cuidado con la pronunciación we have the tongue between the teeth okay so we say fourth and then fifth sixth okay seventh eighth okay we put the tongue between the teeth, okay? It's going to be ninth, okay? Tenth, okay? Be careful with that part. And then, as you could see, we don't say uh, 20, 21th, right? No, we say 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th. And as you could see, we use these numbers for dates and also for birthdays, okay? When we are going to talk about our birthday, we are going to use these, okay? Now let's continue with the video. Questions until now about the pronunciation? No questions? And 30, teacher? 30, it will be 30th. 30th. 30th, exactly, in that way. Let's continue with the video. How to talk about your birthday. The question is, when is your birthday? My birthday is on April 5th. To express birthdays or to express any particular date, we can follow this next formula. That's special day, plus the verb to be, plus the preposition on, plus month, plus the date. Let's put that formula into practice. My birthday is on April 5th. The special day is my birthday. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month April. Uh, 
finally we include the date fifth. Let me give one more example. When is Independence Day in the US? Independence Day is on July 4th. The uh, special day is Independence Day. Then we include the verb to be is. After that, we need to add the preposition on. Next, we add the month July. And finally, we include the date, 4th. Now it's your turn to practice by expressing the special days or holidays from your All right, so there you go, right? Here we have like a little formula, let's call it in that way. Okay, we have the special day, the verb be, the preposition on, but we can also have the preposition in. I will give you the difference. We are going to use the preposition on when we have the month and the date. And we are going to use the preposition in when we only have the month, okay? For example, Christmas is in December, okay? I am not saying the date. I am just saying the month. For example, my birthday, my birthday is in June, okay? I can say in June because I am saying only the month. It's going to be different if I say my birthday is on June 14th, okay? Now I use on, okay? Clear with that? Yes. yes. Clear as water. Excellent. So we are going to continue with this. Look at it. Here we have New Year's Day. New Year's Day. Let me see who can help me with this part. Let me see. Um, here we have Sarai. Sarai. Yes, teacher. Uh, can you tell me when is the New Year's Day? Um, um, ba is Valentine's Day. No. It's going to be New Year's. New Year's Day. When is the New Year's Day? You know? Oh, nuevo año. Aha, uh -huh. we are going to use this formula, okay? The special day. It's going to be New Year's Day. Uh -huh. New Year's Day is... Yes. Uh -huh. On. Uh -huh. And... Uh, April. Aha. Uh -huh. It is on April? On April? Right. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Five. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Let me see, Rosalba. Is that true or not? Um, New Year's Day is, uh, puede ser in December, only month. Aha. Uh -huh. Or uh, January 1 or oh, first, perdón, first. Oh, okay. <laughs> exactly, yes. It will be in okay, como empezamos desde el 31 de diciembre uh -huh. a celebrar el año nuevo. <laughs> but you see, something that we celebrate the and on December, it's going to be New Year's Eve. Okay? I will okay. type it in the chat. New Year. Eve. In this way, Eve. We have the word Eve at the end. Okay. It means the day before the new year. Okay. It happens the same with Christmas Eve. In Spanish, when we say Christmas Eve, we say Noche Buena, right? Christmas 
if. It will be noche buena. Yeah. So, yes? If. You are, how do you say in Spanish? In Spanish. If. Okay. In this case, Christmas Eve, it's going to be Noche Buena. Okay. But for New Year's Eve, we don't have a translation. Okay. That's going to be the day before New Year. Okay. Is that clear, Estrella? Or not? Not. <laughs> no. Okay. I will explain it one more time. For example, we celebrate New Year on December, right? But it is not New Year porque el año no ha acabado. Okay. Entonces nosotros celebramos un día antes del año. Y es lo que decimos en inglés, New Year's Eve. Okay. Mm -hmm. Que sería el 31 mm -hmm. de diciembre. Okay. Is that clear, okay. Estrella? Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much. So now let's continue. We have some other dates right here. For example, we have Valentine's Day. Let me see who is here. Let me see. We have, oh my God, we have Lisandro right here. Hello, Lisandro. Hola, hola, teacher. ¿Qué tal? How are you? Fine. Excellent. Nice to see you. Está dormido. Yes, ah, Lisandro, right? Despierte okay, Lisandro. Mire, despierte al amigo Nino por ahí. <laughs> okay, later we will <laughs> ask him, okay? So, Lisandro, I have a question for you. When is Valentine's Day? Oh, repeat, teacher. Uh -huh. Yes. When is Valentine's Day? Uh, Valentine's Day is on um, February. Aha, uh -huh. on February. On February. Aha. Uh -huh. On or in? In February. Exactly, because you February. are saying only the month. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good job. Because if you are going to say the date, we need to use the preposition on. Okay? Thank you so much, Lisandro. Thank you, thank you. Then we have Bernardino, right? Hello. Hi, how are you? I am pretty good. What about you? I'm fine, fine. This is exciting to the new day of the this class. Excellent. Good pronunciation, Bernardino. Okay. Thank you. I have a question for you. When yes. is the Independence Day of El Salvador? The Independence Day is on September 15th. 15th. Excellent. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Go. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I can say it, okay? Yes. Okay. okay, let's see. Here we have Lorena Borjas. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thank you. And you? I am pretty good. Thank you so much. <laughs> I have a question for you. When is Christmas? Do you know? Uh, Christmas. Uh -huh. Christmas is on December 24th. Aha, uh -huh. it's 24th or 25th? 25th. 25th, exactly, yes. Because on December 24th, we celebrate Christmas Eve. Okay, thank you so much, Lorena. Okay, thank you, thank okay. You. Excellent. Okay, so guys, we are done with the months and the, and the dates. Is everything clear as water or as horchata? Aha. Uh -huh. Or shot. As or yeah. <laughs> Ay, oh my God. Really? Teacher, no. as different in, in, o sea, in, in uh, or um, uh, no me quedo claro en la, en la situación. Uh, tiene que decir in y on. Okay, I will explain it. We are going to use on when we have the month we have the month and 
the date. And we are going to use in when we only have the month. Okay? That is the difference. For example, my birthday is on June 14th. But I can also say my birthday is in June. Okay? That is... Yes, Marta? How are you? I am good. And you? How are you? <laughs> good. Um, Seria, um, every day, um, um, seven. Aha, uh -huh. it is going to be my birthday in, in seven. Uh -huh. Oh, Seria, Seria, no, Seria in whom? Mm, seven. Okay, it's going to be June. Okay, let's say June. Yeah. June. Exactly. June. Yeah. It will be my birthday is in June. Birthday is June. June. Ex Excellent. Yeah. That way. Great. Okay. Is that clear, Estrella, or not? Mm, yes. Uh, what? Yeah. Example, uh, huh? my dear guy, my dear guy is a uh, 20, 24th in my dear guy in September. Okay, it's going oh, to 20, be. Uh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. My dear guy is uh -huh. on uh my dear guy in in September. Okay, yes, good job. Just one little detail, okay? We're going to say my birthday is on September and then the date, okay? Okay, thank you so much, Estrella. Good job. Now look at it, look at what I have right here. Future with be going to. This is the new topic that we are going to study today, okay? We are going to talk about the future, the future activities that we have, and for that, we are going to use be going to, okay? I have right here a little video with a little explanation, but don't worry if you don't understand because later I will explain it to you, okay? So let's pay attention right now, and later the teacher will explain Hi, everyone. Deeper. In this class, you'll learn how to ask and answer yes or no questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation about birthday plans, which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, Happy Birthday. Let's listen and practice. Happy birthday. Are you going to do anything exciting this weekend? Well, I'm going to celebrate my birthday. Fabulous. When is your birthday exactly? It's August 9th, Sunday. So, what are your plans? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she going to order a cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to sing happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, we have right here a little conversation. So, I need volunteers. I want volunteers. Who can help me reading this? Uh-huh. Or do I have to choose my volunteers? Jo yes. Maria. Thank you so much. Go ahead, please. Go ahead, Estrella and Marta, okay? Okay. Uh, Angie. Angie. Yes, you are going to be Angie and Marta is going to be Philip, okay? Okay. And this is the... Angie comienza, Marta. Exactly. Entonces sería Philip yo o Angie? You are going to be Angie, okay? No problem. Okay. Are you going to to do it um 
I'm making exclusive this white candy. Well, I am going to celebrate my birthday. Oh when is your birthday exactly? It's August night, Sunday. Do I are you work time? Well, my friend Kayla is going to take me out for dinner. Nice. Is she, is she going to order cake? Yeah, and the waiters are probably going to say happy birthday to me. It's so embarrassing. Okay, thank you so much to the two of you. Excellent job, okay? Just we have to improve in some little details, okay? Remember, if we have questions, we need intonation, okay? Remember intonation? So if I have a question, I'm going to see, I'm going to say, sorry. So what are your plans? Okay, with that intonation. For example, nice. Is she going to order a cake? Okay, with that intonation, okay? But thank you so much. You did excellent. Do you have any new word right here? Alguna nueva palabra, guys? Or not? Do you know all the words? Waiters? Aha, uh -huh, this one. Waiters. It's going to be meseros. Okay. Meseros. Aha. Uh -huh. Any other one? Uh... Anything, 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 anything that is, it can be algo or nada, <laughs> okay, depending on the context. In this context, it's going to be algo, algo interesante, algo, uh -huh. yes, it will be algo interesante, okay? okay, okay, excellent. So, no more questions. Mm -hmm. We are going to continue with the explanation of the future with be going to. To order a cake? Yeah, and the it's so embarrassing. Now let's analyze the examples from the chart. The future with be going to. Are you going to do anything this weekend? Yes, I am. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. No, I'm not. I'm going to stay home. Is Kayla going to have a party for you? Yes, she is. She's going to invite all my friends. No, she isn't. She's going to take me out for dinner. Are the waiters going to sing to you? Yes, they are. They're going to sing happy birthday. No, they aren't. But they're going to give me a cake. We use be going to to talk about future events. Let's learn to form statements using be going to to talk about future events. We can follow this formula to express the future with be going to. Subject plus verb to be plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples from the chart. I'm going to celebrate my birthday. These examples are contracted, by the way. In order to illustrate these examples, I will do it without contractions. I is the subject. Next, we have the verb to be, am. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb celebrate. Finally, we add my birthday. Let's analyze one more example. She's going to invite all my friends. The subject is she. Next, we have the verb to be is. After that, we need to include the auxiliary going to. Then we put the verb invites. Finally, we add a compliment, all my friends. 
Let me show you how to form yes or no questions with be going to. To do that, we're going to follow this formula. The verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus the verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Are you going to do anything this weekend? The verb to be is are. Next, we have the subject, you. After that, we need to include the auxiliary, going to. Then we put the verb, do. Finally, we add a complement. Anything this weekend. And we put a question mark at the end. These are yes or no questions. So to answer them, it's quite simple. Just like you see on the examples towards the right hand side of the chart. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, she is. No, she isn't. Yes, they are. No, they aren't. Our next example. I'll choose Okay, so I think that that was enough, right? So we have the explanation and the formula that we are going to use to create questions with just no questions, it will be, okay? So we have right here, the verb be, it's going to be, let me see who is here, who can help me with the verb be, Jenny? Can you tell me the verb be, please, in English? We have three, right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> okay. Can you tell me the verb be in English? El do. The verb be. Are. Uh -huh. We have are. What else? Are you? Uh -huh. Yes. We use are with you. What else? And for I? Which is the verb be for I? Um, um, exactly. Thank you so much. And let me see, which is the other one for she? Is. Is, exactly. So we have am, um, is, and are. Okay. We have three verb be. Am, um, is, um, and mm -hmm. are. Okay. Is and are. Excellent. So we are going to have, for yes, no questions, the verb be at the beginning. Then we have the subject, that could be you, Maria, Fulano, Sutano, Mengano, okay? The person you want, and then going to, plus the verb, and then you have the complement, okay? Is it clear, guys? Is that clear or not? Yes, no, that is not clear. Yes. The last. Yes, okay. So if that is clear, let me see. Yes, I have right here. Let me see who can help me. Um, I have right here, Marlene Escobar. Can you give me an example, please? Okay, <laughs> I try. Okay. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Okay, here we have the formula, okay? We have the first thing, it's going to be the subject. Mm -hmm. Can you give me a subject? It could be they, you, we, she, it, Maria, Raquel, Jenny, okay? <laughs> Okay, uh, uh, I'm going to, uh, I am going to, uh, to do, to mm, do what? My homework? Exactly. Good job. 
It will be it. Thank you so much, Marlene. It will be, I'm going to do my homework. Okay, we need a period at the end. So look at it. We have the subject, I. We have am as the verb be. Then we have going to and the verb, okay? And at the end, for sure, that we have the complement. Remember that we can also say am, okay? So we have the two things. We can say I am and we can say also am, okay? The contraction so that you can do it shorter even shorter. Now let's see, who else is here? Who can give me another example? Mirna Elizabeth. Ah, oh, no, Mirna has problems with the microphone. Okay, Rosa Elba. Can you give me an example, please? Hello, teacher. Hello. I'm going to work this weekend. Okay, I'm going to work that weekend or this weekend? This weekend. This weekend, exactly. Okay, that was excellent. Thank you so much. Let me see who else. Adriana, can you give me another one? Please. I'm going to sleep tomorrow. Excellent. <laughs> okay, I will do it also. <laughs> Thank you so much, Adriana. Okay. So if we don't have questions, let, let's move on into the yes, no questions, okay? Here we have it. So as you could see, the first thing that we need is the verb be at the beginning, then the subject going to and the base verb, okay? The, ba the base form of the verb. Basically, we only switch, right? The verb be at the beginning and then we have the sentence in a normal way. So here we have the first sentence. I am going to travel to Ireland for vacation next month. If I want this sentence into a yes, no question, how I am going to do it? Who knows? Who can help me? If I want this sentence into a yes, no question, how can I do it? Are you going to travel the next month? Excellent. Excellent. Are you going oops, to travel? And then we continue, right? Exactly. In that way. Thank you so much. That was excellent. What about this one? He is going to feel sad if you don't invite him to the party. For example, right? Let me see. Here we have another person. Veronica Jamilet. Hello. Are you here? Hello. Chair. Okay, can you help me with this part, please? Um, um, I am going to. Mm. Okay, look at it. This is the sentence. He is going to feel sad if you don't invite him to the party. We're going to make this sentence into a yes no question, okay? Okay, Veronica. Eh, okay, eh, sería una oración con. No, a con sentence the... no, because we have the sentence. You are going to make a yes no question. Una pregunta entonces. Exactly, yes. Uh, I'm going to uh, play soccer. Okay, that is a sentence. Thank you so much. The thing is that you have to create this sentence into a yes, no question, okay? But thank you, let me see. Uh, Rosalba, I think that you want to participate. <laughs> is he, Seria, exactly. going to feel safe you don't invite him to the party? Exactly, in that way, excellent, okay? In that way, thank you so much, Rosalba. Basically, guys, I want you to pay attention, okay? This is going to be, we move the verb be at the beginning, and that's it, right? And there, there you have the sentence. It's easy, a piece of cake, okay? That is the way, as Rosalba says. So here we have another one. They are going to go to his parents' house. Let me see, Lorena, can you help me, please, with this one? Um, are you going 
going to um, not they. Mm. Ah, we have they, right? That is uh -huh. the subject. Sí. <laughs> ah, so how is they. going to be that? Okay. Are they going uh, to this uh, parent? Okay. It will be in this way. Thank you so much. Okay. Are they going to go to his parents' house? Okay. okay. It will be in that way. Thank you so much. That was excellent. So yeah. there you have it, right? Yeah. Easy as ABC. And now, here we have this little little phrase, a little sentence right here. I'm going to play football. What is gonna in this sentence? Who knows? ¿Qué significa gonna? Querer. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Who else? Thank you so much, Marta. What is the meaning of gonna? Mm -hmm. This is the first thing, the first time that you see this or not. Yes, right? So, guys, gonna... It's going to be the uh, contract, yes? <laughs> Tell me. Is, uh -huh. Contract uh, going to. Exactly. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. It's going to be the contraction that we have for going to, okay? Going to. That is the contraction, okay? But be careful with this part because... Most of the time, gonna, it's going to be used in informal English, okay? That is the one that you are going to use in informal English. For example, I can say, I'm going to play basketball, I'm going to teach French, I'm going to play video games, for example, right? And we can also say, Sarai, it's going to travel to Colombia, for example, right? But I'm going to use gonna... Mm -hmm only in informal English, okay? For example, when I am talking with a friend, with my family, but if I am talking with my boss, I'm not going to say gonna, okay? You know the meaning of boss? Jefe, right? The top banana. That is another way in which you can say jefe. Top banana, okay? If you are talking with your top banana, you cannot say gonna, okay? So be careful with that part because that's going to be informal English, okay? So now, do you have any question about creating sentences with future with be going to or not? Or is really, really clear? Yes, teacher. No, teacher. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yes. I don't know, says Marta. No. You don't understand. You didn't understand. Um, no. Okay. So don't worry if you don't understand. I will explain it, okay? One more time. Step by step. Look at it, Marta. Pay attention to this part, okay? Because this is important. We have the subject, the mm -hmm. verb be, that is going to be am, um, is, or are, then we need going to plus a verb, okay? For example, look at the, this example. I am going to do my homework. For example, right? We have the subject, I, the verb be am, then we have going to, then we have another verb, do, and the complement, my homework. Okay? Okay. Excellent. So now, we are going to have an activity. And I want you to do it because I'm going to ask you. We are going to have only, let me see, eight minutes? Yes, I think eight minutes are enough. So I'm going to give you eight minutes and you are going to create one sentence per picture. Only one sentence, okay? So here you have it. Eight minutes are running right now, okay? Only eight minutes and one sentence per P. 
picture, please. If you have questions or doubts, I'm going to be right here. Okay, Bernardino, did you finish? Yes. Okay, excellent. Can you tell me the first sentence, please? Yes, what are they do? What are they doing? Uh, they are dancing the party. Excellent. Okay, thank you the so much. One? Or... No, that is okay. That was okay. excellent. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I really like your pronunciation. That's excellent. Thank you. Okay, we're just going to wait some minutes, okay, Bernardino, for the rest to finish. Okay. Who else finished? Only Bernardino? Uh, Rosalba, did you finish? Is the solo teacher que... Only that the sentence, no, no questions. Yeah, only one sentence, no questions. Okay. And um, she is going to read a book? Exactly. Thank you so much. Perfect. Okay. Who else? Adriana, did you finish? Yes. 
he is going to swim on the weekend. Okay, thank you so much. Perfect. Let me see who else. Estrella, did you finish? Yes. Can you she tell me about your work, work, please? Yes. Uh -huh. um, she's going to watch in the park. Okay, yes. Thank you so much. She's going to walk in the park. Thank you, thank you. Then let's see, Jenny. Did you finish, Jenny? Um, are they going to cinema? Okay, number five. Remember that this is a, a sentence, okay? Not a question. Uh, um, cualquiera o... Number five, please. Uh, I, they are, are they going to... Uh, no sé, esa palabra no, no hay como poner a... Platicando. Talking. Hop. Talking. Talking. Yes. Are talking. they going to talk? Talking. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. It is okay, but the verb is wrong. Okay. It's going to be they are going to talk. Okay. We don't say talking. We say talk. Okay. They, they are going to talk. Okay. They are going to talk. Exactly. Thank you so much. And then I see Veronica. Did you finish, Veronica? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, uh, she is go to rooms in the morning. Okay, one more time, please. Repeat, no. Yes, repeat the sentence, please. She is go, go to go to rooms in the morning. Okay, thank you so much. It's going to be, she is going to run in the morning, okay? Like this. Okay. Repeat after me. She is going to run in the morning. She, she, she is going to the... Uh, she <laughs> is going to run in the morning. Okay, one more time. I will say one more time, okay? She is going to run in the morning. She is going to do, going to run in the morning. Okay, one more time. Run. Run. Exactly. She. She. Excellent. Now, can you read the complete sentence, please? <laughs> she is going to run in the morning. Excellent. Thank you so much. Perfect. Now, let's see who else. Carlita, did you finish? Yes, teacher. Can you give me one sentence, please? Number six. Okay. Uh, he is going to watch TV in the living room. Mm -hmm. Yes, almost. Yes, we are missing one verb, okay? The one verb, only one thing. It's going to be he is... Going to, to watch TV. Oh, watch. Only or watch. Watching. Uh -huh. No watching. Watch. It's going to be only watch. Okay? okay? Thank you so much. Let me see. Sarai, can you give me one sentence, please? Um, is three. Okay. He is going to swim for the competition. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Perfect. Now let's see, Marlene, can you give me another one, please? And they are going to watch a movie. Perfect. Thank you so much. Now let's see, Lorena, you want to participate. Can you give me a sentence? Six. Uh-huh. Um, they are... Uh, going to dinner in restaurant okay they are going to dinner or to eat dinner to eat dinner exactly in restaurant 
Excellent. Thank you so much. Let me see who else. Teacher. Um, yes. Can I do a question? Yes, for sure. I, I a little bit confused because uh, the, the question is what are they doing? Mm -hmm. And I obviously I do the answer what they doing, but uh, I see the the confused is what are they going to? Exactly. Thank you so much. It okay. will be in that way. What are they going to do? Excellent, Bernardino. Thank you so much for that thing. Perfect. Teacher. Teacher. Yes? You are they going to home board. Okay, one more time. Um, repeat. Yes. You are they going to going to going to homework homework okay uh, you homework. are giving me a sentence yes mm. this is an yeah. example yes okay yes it's going to be you are going going sorry you are going exactly you are going to do homework homework Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, in that way you are going to do homework. Perfect. Okay. So guys, for tomorrow, tomorrow we are going to have an oral practice with going to, okay? I'm going to ask you questions so that you can answer, give me long answers using going to, okay? So, your homework assignment will be to study verbs, okay? as many verbs as you can, because for tomorrow we are going to have an oral practice, okay? Okay, got it. So, I think that this is going to be all for today, and I hope to see you tomorrow at the same hour and in the same channel, okay? Okay, so that will be it for today. Thank you so much for being right here, and See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye. See you bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.